But I tell you, if you're having a party or something and you want a pan of rasa pasta, call me up. I'll hook you up. In a CJ kitchen, she do maquila rice, sugar and spice and everything nice. Checking out the other city, the kid, my rice, her hands are blessed by Christ. When I see the bread, put the food, kid, now nah, make your food, yeah, maquila and dumpling, every little something. Whenever you're dreaming, whenever you're wishing, for the recipe, check CJ's kitchen. CJ's kitchen, yeah, CJ's kitchen, yeah, CJ's kitchen, yeah, CJ's kitchen, CJ's kitchen. Hello, hello. Welcome once again to CJ's Kitchen. I know it's been a while, but I'm still here. Happy Sunday, you all. Um, I went to church today, so now I'm home and I'm thinking I would love to eat some Rasta pasta, right? And if you know, if you don't all don't know what Rasta pasta is, it's basically pasta. Um, and the Rasta part of it comes in from like jamaica you know and the rastaness of it i will show you why it's called rasta pasta as we go along but it's basically like um uh, what it's called as usual you know i don't remember stuff but as i go along i'll explain to you and i will show you what i'm doing in my kitchen and as you see it's cj's kitchen once again and i hope i'll be here i'm gonna try to be here um for the next couple of weeks to give you at least one video per week so just stay tuned and keep on watching cj's kitchen thank you okay so right now i'm gonna show you my pot is boiling and in my pot for my um pasta i'm gonna show you i had a little olive oil in there i'm not using any salt because at the end of it i'm gonna be using cheese and cheese said tend to be salty and this is the pasta that i'm using so in here i'm gonna go ahead and this one has like different colors so you know as you know oh we lost two but as you know the color of um rasta is especially in the jamaican culture they use different colors like yellow green and red i think it's red green and gold they call it iced green ice green and gold or ice all right so my water was boiling and i won't use the whole thing because it's just me alone and um and so this is the pasta that i'm using and this will take i think at least eight to ten minutes to cook and you want to get it um really soft but when you're done cooking it you run it under the cold water so it don't you know stop the process of the cooking it you don't overcook your pasta so for the pasta i have here this it says minced garlic because i normally buy the minced garlic but in here i have a jerk sauce in here like a wet jerk i have ginger thyme onions a bunch of seasoning and i blend it with olive oil and vinegar that's what's in here pepper so this is very spicy and also this sauce is similar to maybe the walker's wood sauce but the walker's wood sauce you can't go wrong with that i love this jerk sauce so in my rasta pasta we're gonna have sauce we're gonna have some coconut milk we got some butter we got some heavy cream listen this meal can get very fatty you all <laughs> and then we have cheese this is parmesan cheese we're gonna use like three different cheese right and this is just the regular yellow cheese and these are slices but i'm still gonna use it and this is cheddar cheese so i'm gonna use like three different kind of cheese in there you can use the cheese that you like if you want to use parmesan mozzarella whatever cheese you want to use you can use that also i'm gonna add a little maggie in the, in my rasta pasta as well and here are the colors the green the red and the yellow so here i'm just gonna cut some onions like i said these have most of the um the seasoning that i want but i still want to have some onion and some green pepper some bell peppers in there as well and so I'm going to just, I did cut the onion in half, so I'll just go and I'll just do that. Okay. 
And I'm just gonna do these long way. I don't want them too small and I don't want them too big. So, so the pieces. time to cook you all this can last up about maybe like within 30 minutes because the longest thing to do is to do the pasta uh, make sure the pasta is cooked it does not take a long time and so on like I said it depends on the pasta that you're using these probably take like 8 to 10 minutes so um, I'm gonna break and then when I come back I'll show you Oh, I finalized my Rasta pasta. Okay, so my pasta is still cooking. And um, this coconut milk, I got this at Costco, you all. This coconut milk is so thick and rich. It's a th Thai, Thai, Thai kitchen organic coconut milk. But this is it's like really good. And I got it at Costco. So if you're looking to buy a coconut milk to use in your cooking and you're not sure you could try this if you have a Costco near you I went ahead and and gone and punched this this is back home this is how we open our milk tin or can so that we're gonna pour out when we normally just punch a hole in it and then we do like this this is what we do put the knife there and just tap tap and you have a hole so when you go to pour you just pour it from there so I just opened my, my can of milk. Um, and like I said, this is um, heavy cream. And this I'm gonna use in there as well. So like you see, I'm just like pre-opening my stuff. It's been about four minutes since I started cooking that. And these, they go bad pretty quickly. This says July 1, 2022. So after I use this, either I put it in the freezer or I gotta throw it out because it will go bad easily. Um, because it's every cream, you know, it's milk. And then the Parmesan cheese that I'm using, I'm using the flake one. These are flake, flake Parmesan. That's Parmesan cheese. And here I have some slices of cheese. Okay, let me open those. And for this, I might use about five slices. Because I got, you know, it's not a lot of pasta, so I really don't need to use one a lot. Two, three, four, five. So I'm going to use five slices. And here I'm going to open this Velveeta. Um, listen, I made some Rasta pasta the other day for a function. And it was so good. Um, I love the taste of thyme, but honestly, right now I don't find any thyme in my refrigerator. But in here, I know there's thyme that was blended in this, so I might still get the flavor. So I'm just gonna stretch over here. And as I would say, you know, Spanish for stuff is al dente. So let me see. Hmm. Need another minute, one more minute, and that will be done. And when I remove this from the oven, from the stove top, I'm just gonna put it in some cold water. I'm gonna run it under the cold water. Um, you might not be able to see that process based on where my phone is, but I will come back and you can see the end product, okay? Okay, so we are back. I hope you can see, I didn't want to be stretching across. So I came over here, which I'm definitely gonna have to stretch across in, in my pot. I want to add some olive oil, right? Just a, about two tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm adding that to the pot. Also, never mind me right now because there's no better way to get so you can see the video. I want to add some margarine. 
to that. These days I realize when you get these margarine, it's nothing but water in it. They're like not regular butter. You gotta figure out which butter to buy, but this is just margarine. Um, so to this, that's my butter and my oil. Okay, so from where I was standing, it was not working out. So here I'm gonna go and have my onions. In those onions. And this is my everything wooden spoon. I use this wooden spoon for everything. Try and move it up a little closer. Let's see. Okay. Okay. There we go. Alright, so there we go. We'll just try and move up a little closer. And that's my onion. I'm just going to saute those for just a little bit. And also I'm going to go ahead and saute my bell peppers. So we're just going to go ahead and just to saute those. If you have garlic and you like garlic, you can add some garlic. Um, you can add whatever in here you know that you like to use whether parsley well you can use parsley for garnish anyways but like i said this is just onion and bell peppers that i'm using and it's okay if i don't use anything else because in the like i said in the spices it has all all of those stuff in there so here I'm gonna go ahead, I just need a small spoon. And I'm just gonna go ahead. This also has seasoning in it, so I won't use a lot because I don't want it salty. So, and as you know as well, the um, Walker's Wood Jerk has, is very salty and very spicy as well. I said this is my everything wooden spoon. I've had this spoon a good seven, eight years. I've not been able to find a spoon like this. So if you ever see this called Good Cook, if you've ever found one and want to send one to me, just let me know. I'll accept it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and here as well. I'm gonna add not a full table teaspoon, but a half teaspoon of the waffle wood as well mm, and already that smells so good put this away for a little second in here i'm gonna have some coconut cream now like i said see how rich this is this thing is rich coconut milk right i know we all love our grace coconut milk and stuff like that but listen i found this one and I'm in love with it. And I'm in love with the flavor. It has good flavor as well. And I'm gonna pour some of the heavy cream as well. The heavy cream is as thick as that. Um, so for the heavy cream, I'm adding uh, probably like a, a cup. Can have like a cup, right? I think I just had like a cup of heavy cream and maybe a half cup of coconut milk and i'm gonna let that cook for a little bit because you want to cook your coconut milk right you know us back home we we cook our coconut milk because if it's not cooked you know what happened it gives you a tummy ache and then i'm gonna go in with my cheese right And for the cheese, you can use any cheese you like. Any cheese at all that you like. It don't even have to be like three different kinds. You can use one kind of cheese. Um, you can use as many cheese as you like. You know, if you like your stuff real cheesy. I 
right? So that was five slices of cheese. And we're gonna move in with the cheddar. And for me, I don't really measure stuff, but you, if you want to measure your stuff, you can. Okay, so I just wanna let you know, my, my video decide not to video. So now I'm putting in my um, Maggie. You know Maggie make everything taste good as well. And that's probably a half teaspoon of Maggie. I'm just gonna stir that in. So most of my video has is missing because my um my phone had stopped recording. Now this has been cooking for about five minutes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my pasta to that. I just wanna check to make sure it's still videotaping. So here's my pasta. I went and I, I put those in cold water. So that's what my pasta is. And I just wanna, it's all creamy. It's like an Alfredo pasta kind of thing you know so because of the cheese and this is really creamy real creamy and nice and you see it has a lot of color and <clears throat> for me i'm just gonna go ahead and add some more this is kelly and more bell peppers um see that a bit more bell peppers i need to leave some for my plate and so I just pour those in there and give it that color. And there you have it, your Rasta pasta. And I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna have a plate for you to see. That's what it is, okay? Okay, so here I go about to taste my um, Rasta pasta. Whew, that's hot. That is hot. And this is really creamy. As you see now, it's made. It's a lot of cheese, but you gotta be careful. I don't have mozzarella. If you had mozzarella cheese, it would be pulling all over the place. But here we go. Mmm. Not good. Oh well. It's really good. And you get some scallion and some bell peppers for garnish. Mm. Right now, I'm not having any um any meat with this. You can have it all by itself. This would go so well with some garlic shrimp. Mm. With the so well with garlic shrimp, or some jerk chicken, because jerk chicken is the the next thing to rasta pasta. I love the scrunchiness of the um the bell peppers. It's really good. Um, and we all know pasta is not really like Alfredo. Um, what they call it? Chicken Alfredo and all of these things. Some pasta thingy thingy with a lot of cheese. This is Italian food, right? So we just took it. Had some jerk seasoning, some Maggie seasoning, some walkers with jerk. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some homemade jerk, some coconut milk, and what did you say? Homemade jerk, some homemade. Mm. Homemade jerk and some coconut milk. And we just change it up to this i've had like three different cheese and american cheese and parmesan and some sharp cheddar and here we go bell peppers and this is really good and to tell you the truth, I can't even eat this off <clears throat> because <laughs> before I made this, 
had some curry goat and rice and peas, all right? Not rice and peas, curry goat and white rice. So I won't sit here and eat the whole thing. But I tell you, if you're having a party or something and you want a pan of rasa pasta, call me up. I'll hook you up. Do like, share, and subscribe to my channel, CJ's Kitchen. Take care until I see you again. Kitchen, yeah. CJ's Kitchen, yeah. CJ's Kitchen, yeah. CJ's Kitchen, CJ's Kitchen, CJ's Kitchen, CJ's Kitchen.